listen, let me, let me break it down for you. It's been a while, so I'ma have to slow it down for you. Okay, listen, my goal's different. The flow switching. The type of nigga cook up still with no kitchen. What's the word with y'all? I don't know if y'all heard, because I ain't been on this in a minute. But I got a mixtape out. Well, not a mixtape. I call it a project, because it's like I put a lot of work into this. But I need y'all to see this real quick. Hold on. My thing is, uh, my thing is really tweaking. You see it. Not for sale. It's been eight years since I made any music. This is a music channel, so I feel like y'all would like this. You know what I'm saying? Let's go down the tracks real quick. We got the intro, Fly. We got two, Hempstead Lane. Three, Do You Want a Problem? We got Black Jesus, More Than Music, Interlude. There's a few interludes on here, but it's like, with the interludes, what I'm doing is basically expressing what I can't really say on the songs, on the interludes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I people I look up to, like, you know, B.I.G., I fuck with him, you know what I'm saying, rest in peace, we got, uh, we got a song, Grandma's House, Had to Get This Off My Chest, You Can't Blame Me, Big Al, I dedicated that to my grandfather who passed away, I got my, uh, my pops, his own interlude right there, I got Senior Seminar, um, Honey Grand, Dope Moves with my, my guy, Buddy Miles, I got, I wrote this when I was in my bag, Mama Bear, that's my mother's interlude, and then track 20, Eulogy, If I Die, like, that, that, I want to say number 20 is probably the realest one. Um, I want to say number 20 is probably the realest, like the the deepest one for me. You know what I'm saying? Like the deepest, deepest, deepest one. But uh, yeah, it had to, it got to be the deepest one. And then also I get real personal on songs like, um, cause I just want to give y'all an idea of what y'all might want to listen to. So I get real personal on songs like Grandma's House. Had to get this off my chest, and you can't blame me. And then everything else is just how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can read this right here. You know what I mean? And basically see. You know what I'm saying? You see the cover. The cover, my cousin, she designed it for me. It's just a picture of me, but she... she I, I love the cover. I love the cover. I'm about to make posters, stickers. I'm about to market this shit out of this project. I'm proud of the project. Um, Just for the simple reason that I haven't been able to really convey how I feel, and like what life has been thrown at me on YouTube. Cause like, this is where like, I'm reacting to videos, I'm vlogging, I'm not really getting deep onto like how I feel my emotions. And um, I feel like y'all will enjoy it. I'm gonna react to the, the, the project, the album, whatever you wanna call it, I'm gonna react to it live in a few days, probably after like, I see like the first week numbers. Right now it's just like three days in, so, uh, and for three days, I feel like the numbers are doing well. Um, like I said, this has been eight years. Highlight, eight years. I can't even highlight it, but it's been eight years since I dropped any valuable music. Of course, I dropped like two freestyles three years ago. But since I dropped the collection, it's been eight years. So like, like I said, if y'all like music and if y'all like me as a creator, I'm sure. If you like me as a creator, I promise you, You'll love me as an artist. So I'm going to leave it at that. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm going to catch y'all.